What is going on, guys? This is Zayden coming at you with another episode of Bloodborne. So, I took a bit of a break. Where we last left off, we killed the Bloodstarved Beast. And then I believe I did a bit of the uh, Chalice Dungeon here. And I set the Root Chalice here, but I don't think that I have... Yeah, I don't have enough materials to do any of it, so... Okay, so let's take a look here. Maybe let's go into the into the chalice again. We'll try to complete the first chalice before we proceed with the game. Need a bit of water there. Right, so we fought those three, um, those three people. I don't really remember what their names were. Let's continue onward and downward, I suppose. How am I gripping that? <laughs> it makes no sense. So I finished all of Shadow of the Colossus. That's kind of what I've been doing in the past few days. And I was pretty sick last week. Oh, that's lovely. Sweet, we got a summon. That's pretty great. Oh, there's a ladder. I was like, how are we going to get back up here? I feel like everybody... Is this the same guy that I had before? I don't think it was. But this guy also has the Kirk Hammer. I think the last guy I had was like Alexander or something. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that literally just one shot me. Okay. <laughs> that's a that's a difficulty spike if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I thought we were doing pretty good up until now, and then, uh, that just comes out of nowhere and murders you. I gotta say, your dash attacks are not very accurate in this game. Holy shit.
Olek is just fucking going at it, man. that thing alone for now. Okay. Got a cage there. Jesus Christ, there are so many enemies in this part. This lair is nuts. And there's another one of those bomb dropping assholes over there. Quicksilver. Some ritual blood is good. Another ritual blood is definitely welcome. That thing is nightmare fuel. That's what's shooting the bombs, so it's not this dude. I thought that this dude was the cause of the bombs. Okay. I'm just here for show. Twelve bullets, that's huge. And a couple of blood vials to boot. Alright, this feels very much like the way we're supposed to go. So we're gonna come back. So as it stands, I haven't actually uploaded any of this series yet. I'm going to upload, I think, the first video tomorrow. Oh, that sucks. Where the hell is Olek? Yeah, no, he's definitely shooting fireballs at me. Olek is trapped like an idiot. Can you come this way? Okay, at least you can come this way. There was an inside. Oh. There we go. Get some gemstones. 
That's actually a pretty good drop. Alright, so I think that's pretty much it, other than these two giant bone douchebags. Like, miniature, skeletonized, gaping dragons that shoot giant fireballs like assholes. Arcane Haze. Holy Chalice material. So probably good... Probably good to collect those. So I'm gonna go over to uh, go over to this other one here. Tempering blood stones. That's pretty great. That one's really good. Thirteen point five. I'll be right back, Olek. How cool would it be if he was smart enough to get up here? Okay, let's see if I can figure some stuff out up here without dying. That ladder in there looks like I could probably get up here with Olek if I wanted to. Okay. Fat lot of nothing up here on this side, I think. So... Yeah, I'm going to go around and see if there's another way to get up here from that ladder. Let's go, Olek. Try not to get caught on anything. feel pretty good about how we've been doing overall. Just wanted to make sure he's still behind me.
Man, the rally on this uh, on this hunter's axe is like you couldn't ask for better. I don't think. Definitely happy that I chose it as my starting weapon. Okay, so there's no ladder here. Unless I'm, like, actually dumb. Which... It's a legitimate possibility. The ladder's right here. hostile. I trust this, like, with all my heart. This looks totally like a trustworthy spot to grab stuff. Okay, well played. Well played, game. Golf clap to you. This game gives you that fear that only a only a from software game can where you know that at any given moment you're in real danger. So I guess it's on to the boss fight now, which hopefully won't be completely awful. Do I have any... Nope. Nothing I'm willing to use anyway. Thinking about getting a new mic soon, I'm using the headset mic and the quality is not where I want it to be. So I'm thinking of, um, I do have a blue snowball sitting around somewhere that I need to dig out. Haven't dug it out since the move. What the hell is this? a wall. Ah. 
Our buddy here, Olak, likes to shoot walls a lot. I feel like this room is too big for the amount of enemies put in it. But apparently they're okay with that. Oh, my dear. Goodness, I think that might be the boss room. So, this would have been if you didn't come up here, they would have just destroyed you, I think. What is this? A coffin. That's pretty cool. Alright, well I'm glad that I came down here. Let's take a look upstairs. And finish off up there. I believe that there was an area that we could have dropped down to, but have not yet dropped down to. Not including here, of course. I'm not dropping down there. I maintain that that's probably the boss room. The moment where you forget where the door is. Oh, goodness. <laughs> This seems to be just... Yeah, this is just that area that you could have dropped into that I thought was the boss area. Apparently not. I also just realized that I hadn't started a timer yet. I'm gonna start one now and say we have maybe 15 minutes from now. No, I'm not comfortable leaving that room yet. There's no way that people were just...
There's no way that people are just standing up there doing nothing. Like, why would you make just this useless room? I need to stop stepping on that and nearly getting hit by it. <laughs> well, let's try and head over to the boss room now. Hopefully I'm not running the wrong way here. So I've got flame sprayer, and I've got that, um, alright, let's take a look here and See what we've got on this layer because oh goodness. Oh. Oh good lord. I don't think my flame sprayer will do much. Seven each. Oh, goodness. That hurt. I am doing nothing to this boss. <laughs> like, I've hit it a lot, and um, we're like maybe a quarter done. There's no way out of here with my blood echoes, eh? I have no idea what to do. Tried to, uh, tried to stun it, but that's not doable. I can't keep trading with him. 
I need to figure out a way to hurt him without him hurting me. Yeah, I don't have the files to keep this up. There's no way I'm winning this fight. No. <laughs> I don't think he's parryable. somehow alive. Now I'm dead. <laughs> Alright. Well, that, um... Yeah, at this state, I, I can't even imagine a way to beat him. So... <laughs> I think that's it for the Chalice Dungeon for now, because, yeah, I can't even think of a way to beat him. I did no damage, and I can't seem to hit him without trading, so I'm going to watch the fight back, probably, and figure out what I'm missing. One thing that I know I'm missing is some extra damage, though, so we're going to go to the altar here. Get some blood gems in there. That's a pretty big improvement there. Um, but I could just put that up onto this. Yeah, and I think that I will. Question is, do I want 40-40-40? Yeah, I'm on 40, 40, 40, I think. as well repair this.
I was hoping to have enough to buy... I guess I didn't do the repair. I was hoping to have enough to buy a, um, that thing. Okay, so I need to be in online mode for that. So Church of the Good Chalice. I want to figure out where we have to go next, but the um, the key item there mentions the Cathedral Ward, so I wanted to pick it up, see if there's somewhere to go there. But I'll take a bit of a time a bit of time looking around, and then hopefully find a route of where we need to go before we start the next episode. See, this kind of feels to me like the end of the line, you know? Almost like you shouldn't be coming back from here. And I'm pretty confident in that. So I think that I do need that... Um, I think that I do need that key to progress, or I missed a path. I do still have those two hunters that I need to kill. The Gatling gun dude, and then the random fighter. So, Old Yarnum, we had the shortcut that led back up via the ladder, and then another shortcut that I think led just to down here, and allowed us to come back up here. So that kind of brings us from the Blood Starved Beast back to this particular back to that particular messenger lamp like what do you even call these lantern sorry I'm having trouble here with my words I'm just trying to figure out where something's locked or another route that maybe I missed is feeling nice and weighty though. Right, right, right. Okay, now I remember kind of where we are. So...
I think I fought these guys in the Chalice Dungeon. Whoa. Hi there. Oh, shit. What the? That was freaky. Oh, wow, he's strong. Very strong. That's 10,000 echoes down the drain, so we're gonna have to come back and take him out. Why is he so strong? Um. What the fuck? What? What the fuck? Where in the living hell am I? Is this like Duke's Archive? Yahargul Unseen Village. What the balls? Alright, well I'm going to end it here for now. <laughs> um, and in the next episode I guess we're going to try to find our way back to our blood echoes. Hopefully we're close. But by the looks of it we're in a completely different area. Alright everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click the like button. Feel free to subscribe for more content. And we will see you next time.